Hello, my name is Ricardo Cadena with the Avaya Serviceability Engineering Team. This video is about allowing XM console command access to a non-root user on the Avaya Aura Session Border Controller. There may be a need to allow non-root users or members of a group in a Linux system to access commands typically requiring root privileges. This may be accomplished using the sudo utility, which allows users to execute commands using the privileges of another user. Specific access is configured by modifying the etsy sudoers file using the vi sudo command. Root level permissions are required to perform this task. While this procedure may be useful on many systems and for various commands, we will provide an example related to the Avaya Aura Session Border Controller. In order to access the SBC command line interface without using the root password for an SSH session, the XM console SBC command may be executed from the system domain, also referred to as DOM0. DOM0, however, does require root permissions to use the XM command. We will allow the admin account to access the XM console SBC command. It is assumed that the user that will be provided access to the XM console command has already been added or already exists in the system. After authenticating to the system domain, access the root account using the su space minus space root command, then providing the root account password. The location of the command to which we will allow admin account access must be determined. XM is located in the user sbin directory. With this information, we may now edit the sudoers configuration file. It is recommended that a backup of the sudoers file be made prior to editing. To begin editing, enter the vi sudo command. This utility uses the VI editor commands but is specific to sudoers file configuration. Once the sudoers file is open for editing, enter Shift capital G to navigate to the end of the file. Enter lowercase o to open a line for editing underneath the current line. You may use an existing line as an example, but the general format of entries is to specify the usernames and or groups the servers from which the commands may be executed, the usernames that may run the commands, then the commands that may be run. If there are multiple entries for a portion of the entry, separate the values with a comma. Our entry will consist of specifying the admin user, the keyword all for all servers, the root user in parenthesis, the no password tag so the user will not have to enter their password, and the XM console SBC command. Once modifications are complete, hit escape to exit the edit mode, and then enter colon WQ to save changes and quit. Note that if we wanted to enable the entire group to which admin belongs, the ID or groups command and the username may be used to confirm group membership. Group entries in the sudoers file are prefaced with a percent sign. To test the changes, exit from the root account. From the admin user prompt, you may execute the sudoers enabled command using sudo and then the normal command syntax. We'll enter sudo xm console sbc. Since you do not always receive a user prompt, but the screen appears to be waiting for something, Enter the SBC username, and then the password. You will then receive the SBC prompt. Since proper administration is confirmed, use the exit command to exit the SBC CLI. When you again get the username prompt, enter control right square bracket to return to the DOM0 prompt. For more information on sudoers, Run the man sudoers command from the Linux command line, or search for the sudoers man page in your favorite web browser. Thank you for your time today. We hope this information was useful. We welcome comments, questions, and feedback at mentor at avaya.com 
or on Twitter at AvayaMentor. Thank you for choosing Avaya.